guys, it's Celine here and today I am here with my first video of my back to school series. I'm so excited for this series. You guys have no idea how much this has been requested and how much I've been really wanting to just sit down and answer your questions and do videos for you guys for back to school starting. And I know some of you guys start school really, really soon. So that's why I especially wanted to make this video um, early on in August so everyone can resort back to this video when their first day of school starts. Today, I really want to discuss a few key points that I laid out on my iPad. So if you see me looking down a little bit, just know that I'm looking down to um, address the topics that I really wanted to go over because I do not want to leave a single thing out of this video, especially um, because this is something that I really want to do and share with you guys, like my experiences in high school. For I am going into the 11th grade, which is my junior year of high school, notoriously known for academically challenging and difficult classes and exams, <clears throat> the SAT and ACT, for example, which I've already begun studying for for the entire summer. So let's just get into the actual high school advice. Okay, number one, as bromidic as it is, you really have to be yourself. High school is the perfect place to be yourself and meet new people who are just like you because I assure you, if you think that there's no one in this world that is similar to you and doesn't like the same things as you and whatever, I am proving you wrong as of now. If you go into a club that you are kind of interested in and you really, you wanna know about it more, I would highly suggest joining that club. Whatever it is, club, sport, class, whatever it is, join it. And I assure you, you will meet at least one person who is similar to you and just has mutual things in common with you. So whether it be drawing, acting, um, singing, whether it be academically challenging um, clubs like Science Olympiads, and say you love English and you join the literary magazine, <clears throat> I'm repping right here because I love, I'm in my literary magazine and I'm so excited because I got um, elected as an editor for it. So that's personally my passion and I love soccer. So if you like whatever it may be that you like, I would highly suggest for you to join that club in sport class, again, whatever it may be, because I guarantee you will find someone else who likes the same thing as you. Do you guys see what I'm saying here? You're going to be surrounded in a room full of people who share the same thing in common as you. If you're in a new class and you see a couple people sitting around you that you don't really know their names or their faces and they're from another school and you just want to get to know them, if you see that they're wearing a bracelet of your favorite artist, band, or they're wearing a t-shirt of your favorite sports team, I would suggest to just like talk to them and just be like, hey, so you like so-and-so, me too. And then you could just start a conversation through there because chances are they're just as nervous as you are for starting their first day of freshman year in high school. So those are just little things that you could try to do to um, start conversations, make new friends. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be BFFs with that person who once liked, I don't know, um, the Knicks, for example, you may not be friends with them by the end of the year, but who knows, maybe they'll be your best friend for the rest of your life, but you will never know if you don't actually reach out and say hello. Speaking of reaching out, um, by the time lunchtime happens for you, if you are taking a lunch period, which I really highly so, oh my gosh, I re I suggest taking a lunch period so much because I've taken one every year and I personally get really cranky when I don't eat and I know that there are some classes where teachers are really strict about you can't eat in them and you can't um, if you have a sandwich from home and you just cannot eat that sandwich in that class but there are some classes that are really lenient so I would suggest for the first week bring your own lunch um, so you're not worrying about rushing to the cafeteria going back to your new class and being late on the first week of school because no one really likes to make a bad impression especially Especially on your teachers who may eventually be writing your college recommendations. By the way, just make sure with your teacher that it's okay for you to eat in that class. Like ask them after class or before class, um, before the class actually starts. And just ask if it's okay if it is a regular thing that you can eat in the classroom while paying attention and that you're not going to be on your phone. Because I know that there are many schools who completely restrict the use of cell phone uh, use. And for mine, it is pretty restricted, but you're allowed to take it out in between periods where you have four minutes to get to your next class. Sometimes five. I think it's actually five, but I'm not even quite sure. But um, there are some classes where are really lenient. You can text in class and the teacher won't really mind. It's, it's forced not to text in class and I really suggest that you don't. But I mean, we all have that moment or two where you just kind of want to take a look at your phone, but hopefully you're not going to get in trouble. To a private school or something like that, I know that cell phone use is extremely restricted for most um, 
uh, private schools like I know my friend Fiona if she even takes out her phone and it's not even supposed to be on her it's supposed to be in her locker then she will get a demerit and so just like a personal reference like that I would really suggest not taking out your phone especially the first few weeks of school and then see really exactly how strict your school is and not really to take many chances okay this is kind of random but regarding hallways in schools if it is your first day and you want to get to your class really really quick so you're holding on to your books and you're just like sprinting through the hallways I would suggest take it down a notch. No, don't necessarily do like the slow turtle walk, but I would suggest for you to walk at a quick pace, but not too quick because you don't really want to be laughed at, especially about upperclassmen because it's so easy to point out the freshmen because there are some kids who just hold on to their books and they just sprint down the hall and they're not looking anywhere else but the floor. So really, if you don't want to draw attention to yourself, I would suggest just be relaxed and just walk through like you normally would walk through. It's not really a big deal, especially if you're like 30 seconds late to class on your first week of school. Teachers aren't really going to mind. They're going to understand that you had trouble finding the class. Unless your teacher is really sarcastic and just likes to point jokes out even the first week of school, that might be a little bit different. Starting hallways again, if you're turning in a hallway, don't make sharp turns because this is a hallway, okay, and this is like the end of the hallway and this is where you're going to turn. If you're walking here and you just do a really sharp turn, chances are you will bump into someone and they will knock all the books out, out of your hand because you're just going to be BAM! Right on top of them. I remember um, that one time I was walking and I wasn't even walking fast but there was a person who was sprinting down the hallway and just completely did a sharp turn and BAM! Bumped into me and books, papers flew everywhere and I was just so annoyed at the um, lower like the freshman or the sophomore, whoever it was, I forgot, but I remember that they were a lower classman than me and I remember thinking like if they just made like a rounder turn, like a more wide turn, so don't really make sharp turns. So if that makes any sense at all, I hope it does, but make wider turns so you could see who's coming and you're not going to bump into anybody and so... That's what I have advice for um, walking into school at least. Okay, my next point is peer pressure. Peer pressure is something that we all face eventually at one point or another or at multiple times, hopefully not, but uh, it doesn't necessarily mean give me your lunch money, but um, it could be something as simple as, hey, why don't you just do it? Just do it, who cares? Do it, do it. And like they force you to do something that you don't want to do. It could be about anything. It could be about, um, I don't know, well, I mean, if it's about school and, like, you have to do your homework, I would really suggest that you do your homework. But if it's something more um, of a personal topic that you really don't want to do, don't force yourself to do it. It's really important not to give in to peer pressure. Um, that was an advice um, by my friend Sydney, who is now going to college. So shout out to Sydney um, for that because I remember that was a pretty big thing because I'm a kind of person who doesn't really like to say no. I like to just kind of agree. I don't want to make a big deal out of things, but I mean, especially um, if you're unsure about everything, don't be the kind of person that um, people can point out and be like, oh, she'll say yes to anything. You don't want to be that person who says yes to everything. Now it's time for talking about keeping up with your classes, your agenda and planner. It's so important not to procrastinate at home. I am so guilty. I'm raising my hand. I'm so guilty of procrastination at the last possible second. If there is a paper due the next day, I am most likely writing that paper at 11.30 p.m. And so you really shouldn't leave your homework until like 7 p.m. I would I would suggest to make a schedule. Of course, if you have sports or after, after school activities and other things like that and you really can't do it immediately as you get home from school, I would try to do it as soon as you get home. Start your homework so it's out of the way and then later you can study and then after that you can have a little bit of time to relax. But again, it's really important to make a schedule and to stick to your schedule. Speaking of schedules, um, if you have a planner or an agenda, I would highly suggest to carry it around with you because you don't want to be that person who has to get everyone's number and is texting everyone by like 12 p.m. saying, hey, what's the homework? I forgot to copy it down, blah, 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 blah. I hate those people who text me at like 1 a.m. asking what the homework is because I I think by the end of this year, you'll see what I mean when, you, when I say that. There's always going to be that one person who texts you at the most random times and asks you for homework and for nothing else but the homework. We're still on talking about schedules. It's really important important to take classes that you think that you will do well in but also classes that challenge you. I personally take many classes that I find challenging and I like to push myself in them because I like to see exactly how far I can go in the class by working hard and studying hard. Uh, I personally 
study so much for um, classes that other people may not study as much for and that's just the person I am because I am not the absolute best test taker in the world but I still try very hard and it's very important to try and to make sure that your teachers know that you're trying because uh, if anything teachers are there to help you and to see you succeed um, some teachers I could uh, argue that aren't exactly my favorite teachers but um, for the general like part most teachers are there to help you succeed and see you do well so if anything just reach out to them if you're really having a, a hard time in that class but again it's really important not to fill up your entire plate so don't take every single honors class possible or every single AP class possible if you don't think that you are up for it and you don't think that you're ready for the work that it's going to come because uh, I'm taking two AP classes next year and I'm taking a few honors classes next year so uh, I know that this is going to be a challenging year for me but I know that I personally I can keep up with it and I can do the work for it but if you know that you are a person who likes to relax on weekends hang out with friends which is totally fine but if you know that you're not going to be doing the work for the class I really suggest that you don't even take the class in the first place unless you are ready to challenge yourself and commit it's kind of like a sport if you know that you're not going to try very hard in running and sprinting or if that's the kind of sport that you're doing then there's really no point in playing the sport because if you're not into it then it's just going to show in the game or during your test if you'll if you actually take the class again that's just me I like to challenge myself but it is important to at least take one challenging class that you think that you will study extra hard in and try to do well in because it will help you in the future if you actually stick to it and commit I cannot stress this enough it's really important to commit to your classes um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to say if you're going into a private high school or a private school in general and they require a uniform no one said that you can accessorize the uniform, not necessarily change it and color on it or do things that will get you kicked out of the school, but I mean, no one says that you can't wear a few rings or a couple of bracelets or necklace or a headband or something that reminds you of home and just um, shows exactly who you are, um, that makes you feel more confident in yourself, even if you're wearing a uniform. So, I mean, again, double check on your school's um, dress code because you don't want to walk into the first week of school only to find out that that tank top that you bought the other week is not allowed and will actually get you suspended or something just get you dress coded in general my school is not really that strict with its dress code but i mean i know a lot of schools have a very strict dress code like you can't wear tube tops you can't wear short skirts you can't wear leggings i know that there are schools that just have rules similar to that so make sure that you may um that you check out your school's dress code because again you don't want to be that kid who gets dress coded on the very first week of school i know it's a long video and i hopefully um i really hope that you guys learn something from it and will take some of the advice i have to offer for you guys and i'm just so excited for just having another year of youtube on oh my gosh i'm just so happy for youtube and i love you guys you guys don't really understand exactly the impact that YouTube has on my life. I just, I love you guys so much and making, to see you guys happy and commenting wonderful things on my videos just mean the absolute world to me and this, this is the reason why I do my videos. So for videos like this to help you guys feel good and help you guys through your life, school, um, yourself wise, figuring out who you are. So thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you want a part two. Again, like I said, uh, I have other things that I could certainly add. However, I wanted to shorten for the sake of length time on this video because as I see now, this video is kind of long. So hopefully you had your popcorn and you're now relaxed and ready to do whatever else you wanted to do after this video. And spoiler alert, there may or may not be a rather big school supplies giveaway coming up really soon on my channel. I bought a bunch of stuff on Amazon. I'm just waiting for them to ship in and and, uh, film the video for you guys. I'm so excited for this giveaway because it's all about you guys and I love you guys so much If I have not made that clear, I love you guys so much Thank you for watching this video comment down below if you want a part two to this video or what other videos you guys want to see in my back to school uh, Video series that I'm doing on my channel and anyways, I'll talk to you guys in my next video Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye